Hello, Tessa Pool Media. Make sure everybody smashing their subscription buttons, all right? Don't be a ninja watcher. That's a person that be creeping and watching. Don't be no pocket watcher because that's just a hater. And you definitely don't want to be one of these, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we call the peeping times. Y'all know what they do to peeping times? Just don't go to jail. You won't have to find out. Also, we call this wiping your feet on the rug. You just don't walk inside your, your grandparents' house, your mama's house without wiping your feet on the rug, right? Because that would be impolite. Why? Because you know you got dirt, mud, and bacteria on your feet. So what you do, you wipe your feet on the rug. Well, equivalent to wiping your feet on the rug here is hitting that like button, all right? So show respect in the house of LLTS approval. Do me a favor, hit that like button. It don't cost you nothing. Now, you guys, one of the worst nightmares you could ever have boarding a plane just happened, all right? You guys already know, uh, just taking flights, there's an element of, of, of stress that comes with that. Why? Because you know, if that plane just so happens to fall out the sky, the uh, the chances of you surviving are very, 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 very slim. And that might be a little bit too much space right there. All right. Now, according to news reports, there was a gentleman on a flight, the 83 passenger flight. Uh, he's an off duty pilot. All right. He attempted to cut the engines off on the plane mid flight. Like I told you guys, this is one of the worst nightmares you could ever have on a plane. Imagine somebody trying to cut the engine off mid-flight, and there's 83 passengers on the plane, all right? Well, this actually happened. He attempted to. He attempted. Let's go into the story, actually. Make sure you guys hit that like button also. Now, okay. Authorities in Oregon, authorities in Oregon identified the man as Joseph David Emerson, which is 44 years old, all right? He was being held Monday on 83 counts, uh, 83 counts each of attempted murder and reckless endangerment and one count of endangering an aircraft, according to the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office, all right? So the gentleman was 44 years old, all right? And there was 83 passengers, like I said, 83 people on that flight. Let's go a little bit into detail. Now, the flight departed from Everett, Washington at 5.23 p.m., Local time, it was heat and it was headed to San Francisco when the two pilots managed to subdue the off-duty pilot and divert the plane to land in Portland, Oregon, as a result of credible threat, according to Associated Press. In audio recordings, now they have audio recordings, all right? The audio recordings of the conversation between the pilots and aircraft, uh, the air traffic controllers. First reported by Seattle Times, the pilot called for law enforcement to meet them when they landed in Portland. So they immediately asked for law enforcement to meet them in Portland. Um, they had the gentleman totally subdued, but we're going to go into detail verbatim what they told the dispatcher. All right. We've got the guy that tried to shut the engines down out of the cockpit. Pause on cockpit. And he doesn't sound like he's causing any issue in the back right now. So they got him completely subdued, right? They say they're, they're confident he's not giving them no issues. I don't know if they got him in a mean headlock, whatever, but they control the, they control the situation, all right? Now, um, the pilot is heard saying, in the recording of the mid-flight communication, other than that, we want the law enforcement as soon as we get on the ground and parts, all right? So, um... I think he, they said, I think he's subdued. So this is what they said. They basically were able to subdue the gentleman. Let's go a little bit more into it. All right. We'll speak about the actual plane. Now, the passenger jet, according to AP, was a 76 seat Horizon Air Embraer, 175, 175. Alaska Airlines operates Horizon. All right. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, said in a statement to the, to the Hill, that is engaged with Alaska and Horizon Airlines in the supporting law enforcement's investigation to Sunday evening's incident aboard a Horizon Airlines flight. The FAA declined to comment further. Alaska Airlines said the statement that there were no weapons involved in the incident, the AP reported. So, let's wheel this back up. So, you have a guy, which is an off duty pilot. He attempts to shut the engines off mid flight. There's 83 passengers on that plane. In which the two, uh, there were two pilots that were able to, sub they were successful in subduing this man, all right? So like I said, they had him in a headlock. They was controlling him, nonetheless. But it's the irony. The man didn't even have a weapon. So this is quite, though it's quite similar to 9-11, I think 9-11, those guys had at least box cutters, right? Because I know you can't get certain weapons on a plane, but they had box cutters at least. This man had no weapon, Right? So this was I would this is what I would call is a frivolous attempt. This was a desperate attempt. 
What made this man think that he was going to be able to be successful? That's what I want to know. Hopefully somebody can interview this man in the future because I'm pretty sure with 83 counts of attempted murder, he's not going to see the light of day. That's a federal charge, rightfully so. And shout out to all the passengers on that plane that survived that ordeal, that incident, that nightmare. And I'm happy I wasn't on the plane. I'm happy I'm just here telling the story to you guys, right? Because I know that's very traumatizing. They probably all going to need therapists at this moment. But nonetheless, the gentleman uh, is locked up, all right? And he was charged for eight three counts of eight three counts of attempted murder and something on an aircraft. You know what I said before. You guys get a chance. Go ahead and look it up. Now, you guys, like I always say, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Show respect in the house of LOTS approved. And last but not least, turn your notification bells on. Turn them on. I know you turn off your notifications, but for me, it's your boy. Turn your notifications on so every time I go on, you guys get notified of new content. And we dropping content every day, baby. LOTS approved media. I'm out. Grrr, grrr, bow. DSTM, don't shoot the messenger.